Hi, this is Medicosis Perfectionalis and let's talk about atopic dermatitis, also known as eczema. This is the T mnemonic. So atopic dermatitis. There is a history of asthma or atopy. We have T's here. Also, you will have the rash located on the flexural distribution, like areas where flexion occurs, such as the cubital fossa and the popliteal fossa. The rash is red, itchy, and scaly. Okay, so the kid or the infant will be susceptible to cutaneous infection. This disease comes in flares, so it's intermittent, kind of intermittent the way to remember it with the T's. What are the complications of atopic dermatitis? You have eczema herpeticum, okay? It's caused by HSV. What's the treatment of atopic dermatitis? You can use topical steroids or topical immunomodulators. Topical steroids as triamcinolone. However, if you apply topical steroids to the face, it can cause stria, and this is not good. However, if you use topical immunomodulators, there is no risk of stria, so you can use them on the face. Okay. However, with, with topical or systemic immunomodulators, especially with systemic ones, there is a high risk of lymphoma. Of course, topical steroids have no risk of lymphoma. So, steroids, no face, and no lymphoma. Systemic immunomo or immunomodulator in general, no stria, so it can be used in the face and can cause lymphoma. Hope this helps. T mnemonic.